for taking a look at my video and feel free to check out my free trailer auction for my big 6SL600. Um, today this video I'm going to do a walk around of the exterior, show the interior, um, go for a drive, and show how the functions work. So if we take a walk around the outside, it's in really good shape for being 20 plus years old. It has 83,000, about 800 miles on it. Carfax shows no accidents. So we do a little more close up. Um, headlights are in good condition. Same with the grill. Front bumper has a um, little bit of rash down at the bottom from running up on curbs, but it's not to be unexpected from a car that's actually driven. Um, not too many chips or anything at the bumper. A little bit of rash on this side. Fog lights are in good condition. If we look down the sides, this fender's in good condition. The lower moldings are in good condition as well. Passenger doors in pretty good shape. There are two small door dings out here and here. Hard to even see them. Passenger rear quarters in good shape, other than just a couple minor chips. A couple minor chips down here. Uh, the rear of the quarter, the previous owner told me that he backed into his mailbox. Um, so there is a small dent here and some cracking of the clear coat on the bumper. It didn't get into the structure here. But if you wanted to make this a concourse car, you might want to fix it. Otherwise, it's really not that noticeable and um, doesn't detract from driving the car. The trunk is in good condition. The rear bumper, other than that, a little bit of cracking I just showed is in good condition. Tail lights are both in good shape. This quarter is in good shape. I replaced this trim piece. So that's new, Mercedes part. Side skirts are in good condition over here as well. There's some minor chips at the rear of the door, not a big deal. Uh, a couple minor chips up here. This fender's in good shape. The wheels are genuine R129 wheels with the correct offset, no spacers. Uh, they're staggered with new tires. Hankook. Ventus V12 Evo 2s. So again, the exterior is in really good shape for the year. Um, just a few minor cosmetic issues that if you wanted to turn it into a 10 out of 10 car, you might want to address. Uh, the hood has been repainted at some point. It looks okay. For a driver car, it's good. Uh, again, if you wanted to make it perfect, you might have to do some work to it, but I'm just, I'm not trying to be overly critical of the car. I just want to let the bidders know exactly what kind of shape it's in. As far as maintenance, um, in the last few hundred miles, um, I did brake pads, rotors, and brake fluid flush all four hydraulic accumulators for the hydraulic suspension. I flushed the system and replaced the filter. Um, I replaced the belt, the serpentine belt, and the idler and the tensioner pulley. I replaced the... I'm trying to think what else I did. Um, I just had an oil leak fix. The level sensor was leaking on the side of the block. I had it done at a shop 
and they changed the oil, of course. And um, so now they said no leaks. And the suspension looks good, and they did a four wheel alignment at, at that time. I replaced a micro switch on the top for the main lift cylinder on the driver's side. So, uh, mechanically, the car is well sorted out. So it should be good for a little while. So now let's move to the interior. Driver's door is in pretty good condition. A little bit of stitching missing here, but it's ornamental stitch. Um, I had the seats recovered. It's they're recovered in leatherette, not leather, so they're now zero maintenance and um, very durable now. At the same time, I had the heated seat elements replaced, so both heated seats now work. While the seats were being recovered, I had the tonneau cover recovered um, to match the original with the white ornamental stitch. The roll bar is in good condition. Uh, if we take a look behind the front seats, we have the Bose subwoofer on this side. Carpet's in good condition. Uh, the leather on the steering wheel is in good condition. Um, typical of these cars though, the wood part is, the polyurethane is cracking. The center stack is in pretty good condition. Uh, we have the roller door here that works. Two cup holders that fold out of the way. And I repaired the center console. So it slides again like it's supposed to. And I also replaced the gas strut, so it now opens itself like it's supposed to. And we also have the old mobile phone, the head unit's in here. Um, I have the rest of the phone, it's not installed right now, but it'll be included as well. I replaced the radio, I have the original, the volume button quit working. I replaced it with this Continental unit. It's an RDS radio with uh, Bluetooth for phone and streaming audio. And if we turn the key on, we can see power antenna go up. Functions like it's supposed to. And it integrates with the Bose subwoofer so that all works as well. Uh, now over on the passenger side, passenger side door is in good condition. Passenger seat likewise was recovered. Dash is in good condition. down visors. I'll show the lights in a minute. We have a storage bin back here. Now let's take a look in the trunk. It's in pretty good shape, pretty clean. Looks like there's a small stain here. It's not very noticeable in person. Um, off to the side, we've got the CD changer. It doesn't work anymore um, with the Continental radio. It did work with the original. Um, we have a tool kit. And I've already unclipped it. Here we have the factory wind deflector. It's in good condition. Pull that out. 
Lift this up, we've got the spare tire. Now that we've taken a look inside, let's make sure everything works. So we've got three position memory for the seats. So headrest, backrest, seat bottom forward and back. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel on this side. Let's check out this side. Same over here, three position memory seats. Sorry about the wind noise, headrest, seat back, seat bottom, forward, back, up, down. That all works. Let's go ahead and turn the key on. And see our antenna rising. So driver window. Passenger window. Heated seats work. They do heat up. So they light up and heat up. See the power mirrors. Both work. Go ahead and start it. And you can see dome lights both work. Over here, vanity lights. Vanity lights. Uh, the heating and air conditioning works. Air conditioning is nice and cold. the car, open the door, close the door, and use the remote. Everything locks both doors, the trunk, the gas lid, the center console. Everything there works as it should. And let's go ahead and show the roll hoop works like it should. Now we'll show that the wiper and washer work. And with the car running, let's show the hydraulic suspension functioning. So it's currently on the lowest setting, so I'll bump it up to the highest setting. Might be hard to see, but it is raising. Okay, so now that's the highest setting. It's still flashing, it's almost there though. Now let's show the top functioning.
here's a quick video. Uh, walk around with the top up. Pretty good looking car. And with the top up, um, let's look inside. Show the headliner. Um, before we do that, let's take a quick look close. Uh, fabric's in good condition, a few light wear marks, but it's not worn or anything. Uh, a few spots along the edge where the piping, um, the outer fabric is coming off. It doesn't affect its function. It's just more of a cosmetic thing. Uh, the windows are not cracked. Still in pretty good shape. Back window is the same. Side window here is the same. Um, a little bit of stitching coming undone, but the window hasn't been leaking or anything when I've washed it. Uh, again, it's not cracked or torn anywhere. All right, let's check out the exterior lighting now. Let's turn on everything. See the parking lights. Uh, the brights must be on. Well, we'll walk around and see the brights are on and working. Parking lights are on. And in the back, parking lights are, parking lights are on. Both sides. Yeah, the brights are on. Turn off the brakes, turn on the fog lights, front and rear. Now you can see the Xeon lights are working. As well as both fog lights. The front. rear fog light on the driver's side. The place and plate lights are working. Um, Backlighting is working there. And on the inside. Over there, so all the lighting appears to be working. Uh, as well as up here. start after sitting overnight. Well, let's take it for a drive now. Starts right up, no warning lights. Since it's not warmed up, it won't run it real hard. Shifts like it's supposed to. I have the suspension in sport mode. So, see the indicator lit, that firms up the suspension a little bit. So 
or anything in, inside the car. A little bit of wind noise around the top. I have the soft top on and up. Hard top is not installed right now. up and moves pretty well. Transmission shifts like it should. It's coming up to temperature just on the short drive. All of the all four hydraulic accumulators for the suspension have been replaced. Suspension soaks up bumps pretty well. The steering damper was also replaced. Like it should. 